my name is Kelly, one of the educators with Bywater Solutions, and I have a tutorial today about using the news tool in Koha. The news tool is so versatile because I can use it on both the staff client, my receipts to my patrons, and the OPAC. So I'm going to show you how to do all three today in this tutorial video on how to communicate to your patrons and staff using the news tool. I'm on the main page of my staff client and over to the left is that news section. And so anything that I wanted to put on the staff um, client and I wanted to communicate with my staff members, it would show up on this page. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now and I'm gonna show you how to add a news feature to your staff client. So here I am in the tools module and I'm gonna use those additional tools and go right to that news section. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and create a new entry. The first option is I have is I have that display location. So I'm gonna say that I want it to display on the librarian interface. I have the capability of choosing which library I want to um, show this on, but I'm gonna keep that as all libraries. And it asks for a title. Great deal, um, this is so helpful. I have a publication date and then I have an expiration date. So I don't have to remember and go and turn this news feature off once it's not um, necessary, it will do it for me. Then I have this little um, appear in position where I want this to show up on the list of news features if I had more than one. I'm gonna put zero and this will show up right at the top. Then I have this basic editing box. I do have the capability of going into an HTML if I did know my HTML. I'm gonna go ahead and just do a standard um, text and we are getting some new carpet. So I'm just gonna put a little notice to my staff Once I'm done, I can go ahead and hit submit. And there I can see um, where it's going to show up, what libraries, what number of position, when it's going to be um, published, when it's going to expire, the title I assign to it, as well as the author. And then I have the actions over here. I could go ahead and edit or delete that. I'm going to go back to my main page using that Koha button at the top. And now I actually see it in the news section. I can actually see what I just typed. Quick, very easy. If I wanted to go ahead and delete that, I could do it right from this news feature or go ahead and edit and we'll bring you back over to um, that tools news. So that's your first way that you can use the news feature to communicate something to your staff. Now we're gonna go ahead and go back to the tools module, go back to that news feature and we're gonna create a, um, a um, news for our patrons. So I'm gonna go ahead and again, create a new entry. And I'm going to say that this one is going to be on my OPAC. Um, so this is gonna show up on my OPAC. And we actually are getting um, carpet in our East Branch. So I'm gonna make that more specific to my East Branch patrons. And it's like the same thing. I'm gonna say that new carpet installation. I'm gonna give it a publication and an expiration date. Again, it's amazing, I have to remind myself to go back in there um, and tell, me, tell myself to turn it off. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and hit submit. Made a little message here. that. Now I'm going to go over to my OPAC and show you how it how it displays there. I'm going to go ahead and hit refresh. Now this first um, option, this is a system preference that you can actually have um, an option to display um, this pull down menu that would show that would allow patrons to choose um, the news section, um, which library that they'd like to look at. Um, if you don't have that, then that would eliminate that um, pull-down menu. So I actually have this new carpet for my East Branch here. Now, if I did not do that as a patron, once I log in and if I'm an East Branch 
patron, then I'm actually going to see that new section without doing any prompting. So I'm gonna go back to my home screen. Once you log in, you go to your account summary and um, I might be on the home library, sorry. I would have to go into East Branch so I can actually see that. Um, my patron must be um, a home library person versus an East Branch. So then you can have that specific to your um, patron. Now, our last way we're going to do is we're going to create a um, something to appear on the slips. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So back over to the tool section, I'm going to go to a new entry. And my last time I'm going to go ahead, my display location is a slip. So I can say new carpet again. Put my communicate my dates in there. And I'm going to go ahead and new carpet. Perfect. I'm going to go ahead and hit submit. Okay, so now I'm going to go to my patron and show you what that would look like on the patron slip. Yep, my library is home library, not East Branch. That's why that um, news feature didn't show up. Okay, great. I'm going to go ahead and pick that middle print slip. And I actually, this would be what it would look like before you hit that print. And I have it right here. And once you print it, it will all line up correctly. Um, but that's great to be able to have that show up on your um slip. So something if you wanted to communicate to your patrons. So I'm just going to give you a quick, um, I'm going to put cancel here. I'm not going to really print it. I want to show you really quick what it looks like on that, um, on your notice um, and slip, where you would go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go over to my notices and slips. I'm again in my tool section in Koha. That middle print slip is called the issue slip. So it's about halfway down, depending on how many slips you have here. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit edit. And I'll put this in the, in the um, blog post also, just to give you a little bit more information. I'm gonna go ahead and show you email, even though we know we're printing it up, this is a known bug. It's gonna just show up in that email tab. And you can see all my um, HTML here that shows up on the issue slip but I wanted to show you this library news section here. So in addition to um, grabbing that message body information, so I have that news title and the news content. So if I didn't wanna show the title, I could get rid of the news title and just show that news content. And I'll show you where those show up here. These are all those message bodies. And I need to start with the news and end with the news, an opening news and a closing news. Um, and that is super easy to do. And um, I'll take a screenshot of this and put that in the blog post as well. I wanna thank you so much for watching today. This tutorial is a production of bywatersolutions.com. Have a great day.